Hello and welcome to Darlington. We are here in the Silver Crown and ready for a very fun race. I think this could be a really cool combo. I don't, I have never actually raced with the Silver Crown here, but uh, I love Darlington and the Silver Crown is a great time to bring out to the track. So uh, I'm interested to see how this turns out. We're going to go ahead and qualify. We're just on the default setup um, for Darlington here. But I am going to put my weight jacker all the way down here. <laughs> um, I'm kind of wishing I had a little bit more turn in this thing. Because even with negative 10 weight jacker, I'm finding myself wishing, uh, you know, it, it turned through these sharp corners a little bit more. But that's all right. We're going to do the best with what we got. Got the fuel out of this thing as well. And uh, we'll see if we can set ourselves a decent lap. We don't have a queue set up other than, you know, taking the fuel out okay, and all that. So probably not going to be too competitive here for qualifying, but we'll see how it goes. It's pretty amazing how well this thing sticks around here at Darlington. It's almost like a completely different track. Kind of wild. Got to lift a little bit into turn three, but that's pretty much the only time you're lifting all race, or you know, the, the whole way around the track, which is kind of bonkers. You can see we're flat out through one and two. Don't try to do that in a stock car, that's for sure. You will become very familiar with that turn two wall if you try to do that there. So we'll bring it around here for the final lap. I think my first lap's probably going to be faster, though. It is. And uh, we'll take what we can get there. So we're going to do the same thing with the weight checker in the race. Just got to put the fuel in it, of course. Let's get this thing stopped. There we go. You can see we're kind of middle of the pack. Not too bad for the default setup. Or at least uh, I'm okay with that. I don't know if people are probably better. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. We're going to put this back into here. And then I think, yeah, if we try to put the weight jacker all the way down right here, it doesn't pass inspection, so we got to do it in the car. But 60 gallons should be plenty for 73 laps. I'm actually going to take just a tiny bit out of there. We'll see if that was a mistake. You know what? Nah, we're not going to mess with it. That's not going to make any difference for me, and I don't need to be pushing the envelope. So we've got some really fast guys in here. Larry Pace showing up for this one right after the uh, ARCA race he won at Pocono that we were just in. And uh, Lewandowski and a lot of the uh, other Silver Crown regulars. And uh, a 17-car field, of which we are the five. It is a 3.9k strength of field. Pretty strong. I believe this is the first Silver Crown race of the week. Don't want to miss out on a chance to race Silver Crown, so that's why I Let's wanted to make sure Eighth place. joined up here. We're going to be starting P8, so pretty much right in the middle of the pack. And uh, let me make sure. Double check. Got that fuel in there. That's good. And before I forget, as we get in the grid here, one left to green. Put that weight jagger back. We'll see if that's a huge mistake and if I spin out, but through all my practice, I didn't have any trouble. It was still, I still was finding myself wishing I was even a little bit, a little bit looser. So, uh, looking forward to when I snap and wreck the whole field and everybody just gets mad at me. <laughs> that will hopefully not happen. Good luck, everybody. Nice luck there, dude. We'll go for, I don't know. Just go for a decent race. I'm not expecting too much. This is for the fun here. We're not trying to gain anything. Probably not going to gain any I rating or anything like that, but just hopefully have a clean race. Hopefully have a fun race. That's what uh, Silver Crown here is for for us. Going to be hoping to get single file as soon as possible since it can be so difficult to be side by side here at Darlington and we've got a long race ahead of us. So don't need to be uh, rolling any dice unnecessarily right from the start. Hopefully uh, we're on the same page with the other guys in the field too, guys and gals. So 
I'm excited though. I think this this is gonna be a fun time. I probably could have removed that fuel um, since we've got an estimated like 91 laps, but I wasn't entirely sure what taking the uh, two gallons out, how much that would have uh, cut into our estimated laps we can make it. So that little bit probably not going to make the difference. <laughs> it's probably going to be more the drivers, the one that's going to make the difference here. And uh, my lack of speed is going to be the one and only thing that matters. Only got the one gear in this car, first gear. So I won't have to worry about getting up through the gears or anything. I remember when I first raced the Silver Crown, it, it had second gear, I think. But they uh, changed it eventually just to uh, keep it to the one gear. I don't know much of the history or rationale behind that decision, to be honest. I just remember that it has changed. So we got session last lap up. We got Laura to our inside. She's a regular in the Silver Crown series. Good luck to her and everybody else. Get ready, going green. We're hoping that we can be single file with our row by the time we get to get ready. turn one. Ready. Green, green, green. Not a great jump. Just having trouble telling when they were going. But we are single file, so that's good. Don't want to be 2x2 two two heading into turn 2. Do a little bit of lifting there. And just ease it through for lap one. No, no need to be in a huge hurry, I don't think. All right, gonna lift off good for turn three. Maybe keep uh, some of the tire heat out of the tires. It's usually more of a tire heat thing with the Silver Crown rather than actual wear, from what I understand. Crazy, we're entering these corners at over 180 and still barely need to lift off at Darlington. Really interesting cars. I, I don't really race anything else quite like the Silver Crown on iRacing, so... A unique challenge, to be sure. Fastest lap for Watson, 27.1. The guy behind has just done a 27.2. Does feel a little bit light through one and two, like it wants to turn a little bit too much on me. So I'm gonna have to watch out for that. But that ability to turn, I think, is gonna be very welcome. Later. Not gonna quite go for it yet. I don't feel like I can get close enough. Okay. Didn't mean to hit you there. I just didn't know where you were gonna go. Some of that good turn. Kind of. Yeah. Uh oh, I see smoke up ahead. Uh oh, something's happening. Gotta look at that, make sure they're not crashing. I think they're good though. There's definitely some sort of contact though. On the inside here, we got too wide. Just gotta wait for this to happen. I'm not going three wide at Darlington, you can't make me. <laughs> On my dead body, I'm going two wide or three wide at Darlington. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stick it down low there out of turn two, though. In this car. That's what we're going to do there.
Get that lower line in three and four. I'm liking it. All right, so we made a pass. I guess technically Laura made a pass and we just took advantage of it. Counts all the same though. Getting a bit squirrely ahead of us. Probably that same feeling we're getting in the corner. Oh, we got a wall hit up ahead. The eight got into the wall. I wonder if maybe they were the one that got some damage earlier. Maybe it's harder to drive now. Might be what is happening up there. Dude. Oh, it's definitely getting light. Oh, out of in the middle of one and two. Looks like uh, the eleven had that happen as well. We'll go ahead and go around. We're gonna have to really modulate the throttle. I like how fast it is, though. Loose is fast, so we're gonna keep with it. If it gets too much to handle, we will lower that weight jacker. But for now, I'm happy with how it's driving. The gap to Battiston ahead is now 1.3 seconds. The nine has followed us through. A little bit tight there in three and four. That might be enough for the nine to get a run, and it is. Why are we running in the middle of the track? Still there. Half slot was at 27. Clear inside. I'm going to let him by. I don't want to be side by side there. I'm going to back it down a little bit more in three and four so I can avoid that tight feeling I got. Seems to work much better doing that anyway. Ooh, almost got a little bit too low. Yeah, I'm liking that low line, I think, in three and four. Just doesn't bind up as much. Uh, I might have to remove some of that weight jacker though. It's getting really sketchy in one too. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but I'm having to really wheel it. Seems to only be getting worse too. Which makes me concerned. Yeah, that's that is a little scary. Yeah, we're going to move that weight jacker. One, two, three. We're going to do three clicks. Someone has left. Must have been some sort of issue. It's back on relative. How are we feeling in one and two now? More stable. I like it. Oh, still, okay. Still, still a little scary, though. Nine kind of pulling away from us. Okay, that's better. Uh-oh, what's happening to the eight? Maybe they're pulling it in because they've received too much damage. And uh, aren't competing for the win, so they're done. I don't know. Uh oh. Line up, single file. Oh, we'll get a caution. Good job, Brent. Pass the pace car. Huh? That was pucker fire there, dude. Very interesting. Crazy man coming up. Pace car is out. Line up, single file behind car number zero. With the tires cooling down, I think we're gonna move this back up another three and then move it back down if necessary later. I don't want to end up on cold tires entering turn one side by side or you know real close to each other at least and uh, find myself having a hard time keeping the car under control so 
we're just going to preemptively right. put that weight jacker back up a little bit. A little bit more, even. Not a bad first run, though. We started eighth. We are in sixth. And we'll be able to catch up to some of these guys that were running away from us, but I have the feeling they're going to just uh, do the same thing again. But no worries. I'm doing better than I thought I would. Especially since I'm the five car. I'm almost right there where I need to be finishing, according to iRacing. Do we have any lap down cars? I'm not sure. Hanging on, Joe? Barely. This setup sucks. Yeah, I tried my last race setup from here and last year's, and I. I couldn't hardly drive the damn thing if I had this switch. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Interesting. Just kind of listening to what I'm on people the are dealing with. Default setup. Hopefully this will be two to green. We can get going before too long. Can't remember if cautions count yeah, this thing is loose. Full course yellow. Pits are open. You're dealing with loose conditions. That's what I was feeling in one and two. Is your nose tweaked up, Matthias? It probably is. Let me come look. Pit road is closed right now. It's looking like caution lamps do Pace count. Good to know. Pretty bad up on the right side. Pretty sure these are single file restarts. Thank you. Yeah, crown. Looks pretty good, Matthias. All right, thank you. Hopefully no trouble getting up to speed I I here. Up there a little bit earlier, so maybe you didn't get any for anybody hits or anything. I did. Yeah, I seen that stuff starting to happen. I just slowed down a bit. I thought, hell, I don't need to be in the middle of it. Definitely got too much fuel, especially no, if we're going to get right cautions, or at least one caution. See if we can get a better jump here this time. Gain some spots by attrition, Joe. How's that sound? Uh, dead four. One to go. Yeah. Next time by. Black. Okay, Colton. Get ready. Last week. To resume at the end of this lap. Right around me on points, so she's going to get the, the division two. Sounds like or looks like. No, uh, you were in the lead last time I checked. Not after I IMS, dude. Alright, we'll be getting ready to go here. I think it'll be 52 laps to go. So we're just getting started here at Darlington. Thank goodness for single file restarts. Yeah, uh, of all places, I think this is where you want a single file restart the most. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. All right. Mine's just not gonna go, I guess. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Damn, I was sleeping on that one. Yes, you were, dude. It's all right. We'll get going again. Glad I moved that uh, weight jacker because I did feel pretty loose there. Man, they're just driving away. 
right off the start here. Got a higher line here, see how that works out for me. A little bit faster, maybe. Oh, someone in the wall up there. Looks like they're going to keep it going, though. I might have to take that higher line. I think that's actually faster. We're learning, we're learning. Evan might be looking for a pass. And it's tight up top, though. That was a little scary getting so close to the wall. But with the runoff, it looks like it will be faster by the time we get to turn one. Holy cow, that is sketchy. Approaching turn two like that. side by side up there it looks like it oh wow okay got a little bit too low there that was scary v6 the cap 2 elmore ahead is now 1.0 suddenly that is not feeling as good I might have to uh, cut it down low again Got 10 coming up behind us, and Larry Pace behind him. That wasn't good at all. Tried it, did not well, like it. Inside. Still there. Clear inside. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to it. These guys are much faster, though. I can't do this for too long. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay high. Still there. Inside. Alright, alright. Inside, not inside. inside. Too wide. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Car inside. Everybody wanted to all Still pass inside. at once. Thank you, Paul. Still there. Inside. Seventh position. Your luck Clear. Time inside. Still I there. Think that was inside. on me. I'm sorry, man. Couldn't hold it down. Still there. Oh. Hold your line. Really close right there. Still inside. I don't know if we got loose or not. I'll bring you for the real. spots at the good. moment. The car in front of us is Gerhardt. Okay, I just want to make sure. Like every time I check up this thing, it's dead ass sideways. I need to move my brake by, or not my brake bias, but my uh, weight jacker back down, I think. It's a little bit tight now. OK, 
Okay, I think I've been over driving three and four. Got some more speed by being off the throttle a little bit longer there. That lap time was 27.7. Gain some time right there. Is it enough though? Not quite. I'm not gonna do a last minute move. Whoa. Inside. Must have got loose there on the exit. We'll come Clear. on through. Yeah. Clear inside. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. All right, we'll get that pass done. Back to eighth, where we started. Really close racing, but everyone's done really well so far. Hope uh, my kind of half decision earlier didn't offend two people too much. My half decision to let off, I mean. It's kind of trying to get like one person by me at a time. Are you around me. It's up to you, man. And uh, <laughs> they weren't really wanting to wait as we got to turn two, and it got pretty scary. <laughs> Messed up my turn in for turn two there. I doubt if I'm much better than you. Coming up on halfway here. Just now halfway. Tough race. Half distance. Fuel looks good. You've just done a 27.8. Might put that brake... I keep saying brake bias because that's usually the only in-car adjustment I ever mess with. Might put that wake jacker back down. Because it's not too bad out of two right now, and some more turn everywhere else would be fantastic. I think yes, we will do that. Your last lap time was at twenty-seven point seven. A little bit of a uh, little bit of room behind us right now. Not too much, but not too bad. Yes, I like that extra turn through three and four there. I think I cut down too low, and it wasn't very fast, but it was. That's because it was turning more than it has been. Just done at twenty-seven point eight. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. See some too wide ahead. Still kind of tight right there on the exit of four, even with negative 10 on the weight jacker. Your lap time was 27.9. That was a better corner. Eleven's catching us again, though. I think the car is getting loose again as well. Just constantly kind of changing as this race goes on. Feels like the handling is. A little bit too sideways there for my comfort. Probably scrubbing some speed off doing that too. She might have gotten the wall behind us there.
Now I'm feeling like I'm getting loose in three and four. After just being tight very recently. Times are improving. This is good. Constantly having to uh, react to the way the car changes. Is that what dynamic track is going to feel like? I know this still has an old tire model on it. I don't know if uh, it's more conducive to that sort of thing or what, but definitely feels like... Uh, track or the car or something's constantly changing. I know this car definitely changes as fuel burns off and all that over time. But it sure is notable. Feeling it a lot here. Keeping it real close to the wall gives us some good speed there. Still, lots of laps to go. But Laura has caught up yet again. Uh, she's definitely faster. She's pretty tough to pass. I think she's having some trouble in turn two as well. It's getting kind of tight on her, maybe. Speaking of tight, just experienced it there. Oh my god, what is happening up ahead? Oh my Jesus. That's on the apron, that might not be a yellow. I lifted a little bit there because I didn't know where he was going to end up, but uh, that was a spot, I believe. That counted. Arlington, known for having a, a lack of cautions because pretty much 70% of the track surface is actually... <laughs> It's actually apron, so... No caution despite the crash there. We are continuing on. Caught up to the six a little bit. I think maybe he lifted pretty big for that crash. Not a great corner for me. Had to kind of uh, lift off a second time after getting back on the throttle. Usually not what you want to do. Alright, much preferring that cut down line like that now. You're catching Stanton. Ooh. It tries to push up into the wall there. Leaving four, though. The lap time was at 27 .8. Oh, he's in the wall. It has started to feel really tight in one and two now. I have noticed that. Love how this track feels like it's changing. It's probably just the car, but how you have to drive is definitely changing. It's tighter in 1 and 2 than in 3 and 4 now, it feels like. At least how I'm driving it. Well, that's 19 to go. Can we catch Stanton up ahead? I, I don't think he's actually hitting the wall. I think he's just so precise. He's getting close enough to the wall that, uh, from my perspective, the game thinks he's hitting the wall.
I'm doing a little bit of lifting into one now. Had, haven't needed to do that all race. He is really wheeling it out of two. You can see how he kind of comes down off the top consistently. And his draft, which is helping us as well. Not a great first sector there that time. Oh, he's got a handful right there. That'll be a couple tenths. This car has come alive in three and four, though, compared to earlier. Whoa, I almost got the wall, and I think he almost got the wall, too. We're here, knocking on the door. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. The car outside. Still there, hold your line. The captain, Gerhardt, behind is now. Clear up, car one seconds. And make sure we don't slide up into him. All right. Got the pass. Is he going to make a, a run at it again, though? No, it does not look like it. Sweet. All right, got it done. No mistakes, though. We got to try to keep it. We are P6. Lap car up ahead. On the apron, it looks like. Draft is keeping him up with us behind. Oh boy, I thought for a second he was coming up on the track. That had me worried for a, a, a little second there. I don't think we're catching the seven. I'll keep an eye on that gap. Oh, all right. Got a little bit too low there. We're okay, though. Yeah, we're not catching the seven, so I don't think we're going to be quite top five material, but I'm very happy with where we found ourselves, for sure. Sixth place. Typically, I do much worse in these Silver Crown races than sixth, so... I'm feeling great. Up 
that lap time was 27.8. Getting close to the end of this thing. Is it six to go, I think, when we get to the line here? I believe that's correct. Oh, we don't hit the wall. Got tight there. Over drove it, drove it a little bit. I think Stanton may have actually got the wall behind us because he lost a bunch of momentum all of a sudden. Much better three and four there. Exactly. Five. Five to go. Like Things are looking good. Be another hey, my crew chief was actually nice to me for once. He said we're looking good. Usually he's like less than optimal. You stink. P U. What's that smell? Then I cry myself to sleep. But he's actually kind of nice to us this time. Who's winning this thing? Lewandowski by over five seconds. That checks out. Larry's made his way up to third, I see. I think he didn't qualify. So he made his way through the field. Oh, they're side by side up ahead. On a two to go. Two more, let go. Two laps remaining. Your last lap time was at twenty seven point eight. Stanton hasn't gone away back there. Maybe I should make sure I'm hitting some good laps, because he's still only half a second behind, and that's one bad corner away from gaining a whole bunch of that back. You just got the white flag. And that wasn't that such a great corner right there. White flag, last lap. No cautions now. If they wreck ahead, I'm going to have to miss it. Go ahead, Thomas. Good one, Tom. Good race, Larry. All right, we will get it done. P6. Very happy with that. P6. Well done, mate. Good finish. Loving that finish. I'm very happy with that. I'll get out of the corner before I can talk. <laughs> nice run. Solid work. I hear you, brother. Very happy with that. That was a fun race. Always love coming to Darlington. It didn't disappoint well, you. Good season, man. Next season. Different, a uh, bit of a different experience in this car. A lot less braking. In fact, no braking really. It's big lifts into three. And a little bit later, we had some lifts into one, but 87, 79 the tires, which is really interesting. But uh, this was still a lot of fun. We go from eighth to sixth. And uh, we know some sort of issues happened out there. We had one caution, and uh, I think some other issues. And we'll see what happened. Here's my god-awful start. I've, been, I've had a bad habit of that lately. I'm not getting very good jumps. i got to work on that. Lap 5. Ooh, the 10 indecisive about where he wants to try to go around with his run. Turns into a bump draft, but then lap 6... Ooh, two into the wall, and then nowhere to go for the eight, and that's where his damage came from. Okay, so he was definitely off pace, and he left early because of it. That's what happened to him. Again on lap eight. Ooh, 17 drives in a little hard. 
Somehow no caution though, no wreck. Seventeen drives in a little bit too hard again there, but thankfully keeps it up into the wall. <laughs> keeps it up into the wall to prevent a, a big crash, but that might have actually been a yellow. Maybe not. Yeah, he was down on the apron, so we're good. Now lap sixteen. I guess we're gonna get a handful of these, but okay. That turned into much more. So the thirteen coming up on them and. Danton actually gonna get ooh just just net code not really actually into this so I don't think he got damage but it was enough to get the 16 up and over or sorry that's not the 16 that would be the 13 and that was your caution right here so that was a pretty significant flip there me not fine 13 says me got owie. Oh, that's a big owie. He's got some drain bramage in that car. It's not walking right. Unfortunate for him. He just had nowhere to go with the guy getting into the wall. Not sure why we're seeing that necessarily. Gets into the wall there. Add some more damage to that car, probably. Probably already tougher to drive with the weird arrow dynamics that flare up on the front probably have. A little bit of bumper action there. The incident I was in where I pushed the guy a track, we had a foot between us if not 18 inches, so terrible net code. Talking about this very incident right now. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I don't think they touch otherwise, because even though he's kind of heading that direction, 10's moving up the track as well. I think there probably would have been room for both of us, but yep. Some pretty bad net code, unfortunately. Pushes the 10 up into the wall. And then he's going for a ride. Is this not a caution? This was not a caution. So, I guess because there was no one behind him. So that's interesting. Moving right along here, just a couple wall hits I think, and the 16 calling it, probably with some damage. Seven getting a piece, ooh and the guy's coming up on him, oh, and the nine just not able to hold it together, so interesting chain of events here the nine cuts down low because of the wall hit and he's down there in the apron and then he decides to come all the way back up but I think uh, Derek here coming up on the slower cars thinking I gotta maybe go around him to the bottom nine comes all the way back up at the top but it could be the tires are real hot because of everything that just happened and it's only gonna get worse from there as he slides and just unable to get this thing under control all the way down the straightaway and we saw that happening up in front of us. And no caution because he's all the way down there on the apron. And I believe he toes. Here any second. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. And Stanton, not quite in the wall, but very, very close. He was trying hard to keep us behind him. That was a great race with him as uh, we came up over the long run. Here's after we have passed him, and I think I saw this in my mirror. He'll actually get the wall that time. It got surprisingly tight in 1 and 2, I'm telling you. And then I guess that's it, so... Pretty fun race here at Darlington in the Silver Crown. Next thing we're going to do is check out the race results page. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. That was pretty fun. Um, Silver Crowns are usually pretty good times, especially when you've got... Uh, a track that's not just a super speedway. <laughs> uh, 39, 22 strength of field, the 7 with the fastest lap, and us with an 8 I rating gain for our 6th place finish. Alright, that was a pretty good one. Lewandowski gets the win. Larry moves all the way to 3rd from 17th. Making passes, making moves, getting a great finish. 
And uh, here are the rest of your results. Do we actually have a split for Silver Crown? Hey, that's cool to see. Two splits for the Silver Crown. And uh, hopefully that race went well, too. I guess I can look at that real quick. I don't know if this is going to show up, but uh, they only had one caution as well, so... Usually some pretty good racing in the Silver Crown. So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.